there YouTube, Chrome Freak here. Okay, first impressions, Ruger Mark III, light, 2245. One magazine, let's make the gun safe, I know there's nothing in it, but, and this will be one of my gripes, by the way, the magazine not falling right out, but let's put it back in there for a second. Lock it back, drop the mag out, we have a safe gun. This is going to be a first impressions video. It is not going to be a um, preview, a review of the gun. I have not shot it enough to review it, but I just wanted to go over some of the things that attracted me to it, what I don't like about it, what I might change with it, and then show a little bit of a teaser of another video I got coming for my buddy Jerry, Crazy 45 Cat. Anyways, I picked this gun up. The first time I ever felt it, Oh, what the heck's on this towel? First time I ever felt this was I picked it up at the shop and I was like, oh my God, it's awesome. The light, the light weight of it. Immediately, I wanted the gun. At that point, though, I wasn't going to get it. I wasn't sold completely on it. I just knew, man, that's a, that's a really nice Ruger pistol. I wanted a nice little 22. I had some revolvers, 22 revolvers, but I didn't have a semi out of 22. I haven't had one for a few years. So I grew up actually shooting a Ruger 22 uh, Mark I pistol. That's one of the very few guns I was not allowed to take apart. And I understand now why, after working on these for a long time, I, this is the gun that drives everybody crazy. It's not that bad to, to, for field strip disassembly and reassembly. But what happens is this is the gun by far, more than any other firearm that I get brought to me at the shop in a bag and a hundred pieces saying, can you please put this back together? I'm not kidding you, ask Brandon, ask Dave, this is the gun and it drives me insane. It is so narrow. The width of, um, of the frame of this, which is a polymer frame on this gun, is so narrow. It's just so hard for me to get my hands in there to put the um, sear, sear spring, and all that. There's nothing complicated. It's just the size of it. I can't get in it to work, and it just drives me insane. Um, as far as field strip and all that, it's not too bad. I know that drives a lot of guys crazy, but I have no problem really field stripping it and putting it back together. A little couple here and there if I haven't done it in a while, but it's not that bad. This main thing is getting that main um, arch in the back lined up to go into the main spring. And when you close everything, you'll feel a little bit of spring tension back here. You know you're right. If not, you need to redo it again. And that little strut, by the way, I hang in behind a pin and get hung up and then it's, it's just a mess. But once you've done it a few times, it's really not too bad with that. But it's the, it's the weight of this gun that really got me. The, the grip angle, obviously, the, of the 45, it's got the 1911 grip angle. It feels just good in your hand and it's just so light. In fact, the gun weighs 23 ounces with a mag in it, empty mag in it. It's 23 ounces. It's not gonna be much more with a uh, loaded magazine, 10 rounds of 22 long rifle. I have put a, probably 100 rounds through this gun with no issues at all yet none not one malfunction and 10 of those were through a suppressor and i'll put that video up by the way i stopped at a friend's house where you're allowed to shoot and ran 10 through it real quick and i'll show you that suppressor and tease jerry with that a little bit but we'll go over some of the a little bit of the gun it comes with a suppressor ready by the way threaded barrel which is threaded for half by 28 uh right hand um threads it's conventional, conventional threading. People throw a flash suppressor on there, flash hider. Uh, sound suppressor is perfect and hides the flash as well. The gun itself has got an aluminum upper receiver here on this, but it also comes in a black anodized version of it. I like the brushed aluminum look better. I just liked it better. It's just, just my taste, but if you like the old black, you can get that. It's got the Zytel polymer frame, which is Zytel is Ruger's polymer. It's a great, it's, it's a good polymer and, for, and a 22. It's, it's just very light. It, it, the whole gun just feels fantastic. It does. It's a Ruger. I mean, Ruger's run good. They are what they are. The grip panels are black laminate. You could change these out with 1911 grips. Now you might have to um, do a little altering over here, but it's not that bad. It's anything that somebody at home can do very easily. You can do it yourself. There's not really not a lot to say about the gun until I do a full review of it. So this is going to be a very short, quick video. I just wanted to show it because I've been asked a couple times about it. And then Jerry made his video where he bought one and I just wanted to show him. And uh, real quickly, I had the 10 rounds of, of suppressed ammo or suppressed that I did run through the gun was with this ammo. It's a Gentex silencer subsonic 22 long rifle ammo. And I'll show you quickly, I'll show you this. This is a silencer co. 
22 Sparrow, and it's just beautiful, man. I love this little silencer. It's the one I got for this pistol right here. We'll screw it on and let Jerry see what it looks like. By the way, the barrel is um, 1 in 16 twist, right hand, 6 groove. The front sight is fixed, not adjustable, but raised, as you can see, high to fit this. I hope you can get this in the camera. To fit the suppressor very well. Let me move this one to get it all in the camera. The rear sight is fully adjustable, both for windage and elevation. I won't go over the stats of the silencer because I'm going to save that for another video. Um, just a perfect little setup. When you hold this in your hand, it is. Just, and this is what absolutely sold me. I picked this gun up at the shop and I was like, man, I want that gun. Then Bill, um, Southern Yankee Guns, had it laying out with his silencer showing it on there. And I was like, man. And when I picked this up, I was sold. Instantly sold. I said, I want that exact setup. And I got it. So it's great. This, hopefully this will push Jerry into going and getting his, um, his trust done and getting his paperwork in quick before things change on that also. But I just love this little setup. It was so nice. I don't know what else to say about the gun. Uh, there's not a lot. It's... The barrel length is 4.4 inches. The total length of the gun without suppressor is 8.5 inches. The width is one inch. Uh, there's really not a lot to say about it. Um, I believe the height of the gun, I, th I think it's just over four inches high, four and a half inches, somewhere in there. I'm just trying to remember this off the top of my head. Um, very light, like I said, 23 ounces. And the silencer itself only weighs, I believe, six ounces. So we're talking still under 30 ounces for the entire package. I mean, how sweet is that? Anyway, guys, we'll wrap this up. KW Gunworks, Sun on Yankee Guns, Chrome Freak 123, and Ammunition Depot. And this is, guys, a nice little setup. If you just want to get yourself a little silencer, a nice little 22 semi auto without breaking the bank, this is your setup right here. Perfect. All right, guys, thanks. We'll see you. Oh. I will get back to you on a full review of this gun after getting a thousand rounds through it.